the protagonists of Sam Mendes's World War One film, 1917, are two young British soldiers who are assigned an important mission that will require courage, grit, and sheer physical resilience. Yet the film's hero is as much its cinematographer Roger Deakins, who pulls off the brilliant and audacious trick of shooting the entire two-hour film as if it were one continuous unbroken shot. Now the one-shot film and the made-to-look-like-a-one-shot film have been successfully done before, several times in fact. Most notably, the Oscar-winning film Birdman, which, barring one exception, gives the impression of having been filmed in a single shot. None of these films, however, have the scale or the ambition of 1917. The camera follows them throughout, seemingly in real time, giving us an intimate experience as they are worn down by stress, exhaustion, hunger and thirst, fear and death. In staying so close to the two soldiers for the entire duration of their mission, and in listening to them talk about food and rats and winning medals, the film feels personal and small. You realize that the story of these two boys is one of many stories involving those affected by this enormous tragedy. It helps that the boys in question are played by relatively lesser known actors. But the truth is that the story is slim, as if stripped down to aid the single shot visual approach. As a result, there are times when the film feels like an obstacle race or a game with challenges to overcome on every level in order to move on to the next. It's hard to explain, but it feels simplistic in its depiction of war. Having said that, it's still a visually wondrous experience. What Deakins and Mendes have pulled off is incredible by any measure. This is the kind of film that the big screen was invented for. It's also emotional and moving in parts. Mendes dedicates the film to his grandfather, who fought in the war, as we learn from a closing slate. How can you not appreciate why this episode from history meant so much to him? I'm going with three and a half out of five for 1917. There is a lot to admire and be awed by in this almost war classic. Oh, no!